Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the most blessed and wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to this victorious and joyful daily devotion. Today's topic If we say we are Christians we must walk worthy of our calling. Paul writes this epistle from the prison to the church of Ephesians. Ephesians 4:1 Paul says walk worthy of the calling with which you are called. If we have a Christian name we don't become the children of God is it not? Everyone older younger richer or bigger in society unless anyone is washed with his blood confessed and repented of our sins and having received Christ Jesus as our savior we cannot be called the children of God if you can read john 3 verse 3 and 5 unless you're born again you cannot enter into the kingdom of God John 1:12 As many as received him as many as received Christ to them gave he power to become the sons and daughters of God to become the children of God first time people were called Christians as most of us know is at Antioch seeing the followers of Christ Acts 11:26 why they were called Christians the people around and the world saw the followers of Christ the disciples and the apostles behavior and conduct was Christ like they saw that Christ in their lives in their conduct and in their love and treating everyone in the same way no discrimination no grasping power but all with one accord in unity and love they grew respecting each other which is most important two things we observe the reason for the greatest revival in the early church number one with one accord in unity and love they build the kingdom of love and peace you can see the entire book of acts how the early church grew There are indeed few churches who are like that and there uh, God blessed them the church of Hebron for example but such few church there are few churches as i said but we can count them the second reason for the revival is all messages or every message that was preached by the early church was purely on salvation death of christ or the sins of the mankind and his resurrected power to restore the mankind to God the salvation plan no self praising and no self glorifying messages at all no wasting of time on the pulpit a christian is one who reflects jesus christ and not arguing and fighting for powers and positions making those around us watching us move away from christian faith do our actions bring honor or shame to Christ it's time for introspection help us lord to know that once we are washed by your blood enable us to conduct ourselves with the passion of the early church who were hungry for the word of god and for continual fellowship with god's people help us to respect honor and love others to reflect thy life so that we draw people to christ and not move them away In Jesus sweet name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you. Amen.